Yeah, we in the studio now. Oh, you about to make another video? Yeah. Well, I'm here we're gonna edit all this shit too. <laughs> I got time. I got time tonight. Oh, uh, you got time? Let's got get time. it. Let's time. I need a book. God damn it. Fuck. Now, so I want you to know what, see what color you want me to sign it with. People chasing money, people putting their lives on the line for for a dollar fucking bill, bill, bro. A piece of paper putting everything on the line. It's a gun you down for it. I don't even want it. I got family members in jail and you know, <laughs> over you know, for a, a rat. A, you know, ten thousand I mean not ten thousand, thousand dollars, seven hundred dollars. Yeah. You're for real. Man, that ain't shit, bro. But you 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 wild for this much? Five years, ten years. Seven years. Do you know that's not even rent? That's not money, bro. <laughs> that's not even rent. A million dollars ain't no money, bro. It's not enough money to. It's not worth your time and your love, bro. It's not worth it. A million dollars is not worth it. That's a fact. That shit gonna go. Really quick. For real. A million dollars is not enough. Yeah, man. What we at with it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking, boy. Come on, I'm just getting it out. Fuck it. I don't know who we talking. Fuck it. That was it so good. That was good conversation. That was good shit. That was great shit. That was to be talking. That was good shit, though. No, we on that. We, yeah. That's what I be on. We be talking, bro. It got me going. I felt it. I loved it. I had, For real, bro. I had a great fucking... Uh, For real. That was a good convo, brother. And now, to all my OGs out there, bro. Ask these young dudes and these young ladies what they're passionate about, bro. Don't just send them in the wrong direction. Even if it's some something that you know that you're not even interested in, don't steer them away. Ask them what they're passionate about, bro. Reason why them young boys got guns and sell drugs, because nobody asking them, like, what you want to do, what you like. You know what I'm saying? What do you like? What you passionate about? You like the... Draw you like the fish, you like the paint, like photography, what is it? You like debates, you wanna be a scientist, you wanna be a scholar. Ask them what they're passionate about and keep it real with them, let them know the real rules, like what really goes down. Don't just show them the money and the cars and the women. Tell them about the real, man, because I know plenty of people past 30 that's trapping and they don't let it, they trying to find a way out, they don't let that shit. That shit ain't cool when you get older, bro. For real. Nobody trying to be a drug dealer past 25, 26. And if he is, you know what I'm saying? You hustle him back. Like this. Like Gilly said. <laughs> you hustle with ass backwards. Uh, you know, he said all type of shit. I can't say that on camera. But, like, but yeah, that was some good stuff right there. I loved it. That was some good stuff. That was great. Yeah, man. People got to start acting these kids with their No, that was no, that was so serious. They really got. I talk like this. <laughs> that was great. Remember now, bro. Your energy is coming through. What they, what they, what they passionate about? I'm really here fighting for the little homies. Little and the little queens, bro. Yeah, and the queens. Like, I, I need to. I really need a strong woman for the queen, cause that's something I can't get too deep in now. It's too like that. But I feel like I feel like the younger generation now, yeah. like these young girls that's coming up. Yeah. I feel like they they really like firm on the like they really yeah. they smart. Firm. They really even our generation of women. No, they, they have still, hustle and drive. Yeah. They have way more hustle and drive than we ever will have. I feel like a lot of shit that's happening in America today is because of this. The young generation of women, you know, yeah. they really stand for something. They, every time I look on social media, it's a young lady. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That motivates the brothers. Now the brothers, really, the, the females got so much power, bro, to where they shift the culture. Whatever they like, the, the, the dudes gonna follow. You know they what I'm saying? They follow you. We follow you. Asking. You know what I'm saying? They're really guys, bro, in my eyes, but we they follow them. Guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? What you think is cool, we love it. Right, you make me into shit I don't even like. 
it. Yeah. I love it. We love it, you know what I'm saying? The young generation of women, I love everything they stand for, bro. They really making change, though. I don't care what nobody say, these young black women really standing up and, and... Yeah, they do got a voice. I yeah. love it, but I, I want it. them to come together yeah. with one voice. The one because voice. they all got great shit to say and input. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But how do we? How do they all come together? They, I, that, that's why we. I don't know. Because they've been putting us like this our whole life. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. The generation before them been like this. I don't know, but so, I don't know. That's for real. I don't know. But I wish they would. That would. Oh, it would be a world peace for real. But I really don't be seeing a lot of young ladies fighting. What if the internet lit? Oh, yeah, shit, I'm I don't be on world star no more. That's why. Oh, world right. star <laughs> lit. Shoot, but they not black. They white. <laughs> Man, they ain't talking about black, though. They ain't talking about black, girl. Bitch. They, they standing up for the culture, bro. Yeah. Like, you can't deny it, bro. They really standing up for our culture. They want change. This young generation of white people I look, ain't going for that music. shit. And it look, he be having me going dumb. Like, but they saying some wild shit. But I be like, yo, I fucks with it. It's raw shit. That's some raw shit, man. They not asking. Man, listen. They ain't asking them nothing. Give it to me now. Or I'll blow this bitch up. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm reporting you, mama. <laughs> they will blow. Uh, they will uh, jeopardize the mission for you niggas. They will jeopardize the generational wealth. Wait, oh, so you, you. I love Tyrone down the street. For love Terrell around the block, man. Oh, man. <laughs> they jeopardizing the whole. They, they get man. Oh, bro. That's some crazy shit. Well, yeah, man. Little old, oh man. But yeah, man, talk to me, man. Say some yeah. shit, man. You already been dropping some. I mean, we got a lot, though. We got a lot. Yeah, we we got to edit a lot. Yeah, we do. We got to cut this shit. Hold on, oh, wait a minute. Don't cut that one. Don't cut it. Hold up. Wait. Wait a minute. Don't cut it yet. We need an electrolyte break. We need a light. You feel me? Let's get it. Yes, indeed, man. Man, I ain't going to flex. You did bring some bullshit last time. What? The drink? Hell yeah. Or, bro, I tried that shit that you talked about with the caffeine in it. Yeah. Well, that shit nasty, man. I had strawberry kind. Shit nasty, bro. I'm going to drink it tomorrow before the game, though. I'm sure I make it feel. That shit had you amped up? You got caffeine in it. I really... Don't do it, brother. <laughs> I'm drinking a little bit. Smoke a little bit. You better drink one of these. Hey. You might even drink it tonight. Uh, man, you might want to you a sponsor for that bitch. <laughs> you might want to drink one of these. You might want to drink it tonight. <laughs> He's like, ah! Uh, hey man, stop playing with me. I fucks with it. Get you some. Get you some. Mm. Get hydrated. Especially in Vegas. Who that my little baby? Shit, hey. get you down, man. Mm hmm. That nigga crazy, bro. Man, I'll fuck with you up. Yeah, me. man, you're gonna be spitting that real shit. You got to, man. Mm. You gotta get up your chest. Look, I, the other day, you said what I, what everybody in America that is black. I don't know what I said. <laughs> oh, man. That we, we got trauma, we need counseling, all yeah, that we shit. We need all of that shit. That is a fact. That's a but fact. we need to have no time to sit down. And, like, really understand. Right. You know what I'm saying? Really deal with it. We need a we need a second for ourselves to, you know what I'm saying, to talk and do this thing. That's why I like this shit, right? And not only that, bro, but they wonder why like niggas smoke I mean like they wonder why people smoke all this weed, pop all these pills, drink all this drink. We 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 trying to suppress something, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, bro, after all the shit I seen. I, when I go to sleep at night, bro, I still see a lot of them faces, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I still see a lot of that, and, and I gotta smoke just to go to sleep. Because if I don't, I'm gonna be up, and it's, you know, it bothers, it bothers me, bro. It's trigger moments, you know what I'm saying? But I still see them faces to the day. Me and my mom was just talking about it, you know? Yeah, And, like, I still see them faces, like, people that's tatted on me. I see, the, I see these people die for real, you know what I'm saying? And I still see their faces, bro. And I was young. That's, this is before Katrina. You know? This is before Katrina. This is pre-Katrina. Like, with a Charlie Lane. <laughs> Man, but yeah, bro. Bro, how was that growing up? Man, no car. Daddy. 
for the streets, you know what I'm saying? Mama working three jobs. Me and my brothers, man, it was, it was crazy, bro. My family. I got I was exposed to so much so early, mm -hmm. not even knowing, but it was it's the norm, you know what I'm saying? I was exposed to a lot early. Yeah. And my brother really my brother, like, we could have been we was introduced to a lot of things. We could have went a lot of ways. But my brother and my cousin them made sure that we didn't go in certain lanes, you know what I'm saying? That would and even if we I mean them lanes is is right there, you know what I'm saying, right in our pocket. But if we had a win in a certain lane, there was no going back. The the high you get from the money that you get from a certain lane, selling certain stuff, there's no coming back from you know what I'm saying? For real. And I appreciate them dudes for not not introducing that to us for real. Go ahead, man. For real. You know what I'm saying? My brother, he went to jail, he did his time, and he got out of that lane. And I respect that so much, you know? Mm -hmm. When he went to jail, Oh, that was like one of the toughest shit I ever had to deal with. Ain't nothing I could do. Ain't no way I could help. Can't see him, can't talk to him. Can't go ask him for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm out here in these streets. Hello. Big bro gone. But he came out, he changed his life. He got major apparel popping. Man, I love it too. I love it, bro. Hey, big bro, I'm picking up my package, man. You know, I'm gonna have to. see you personally. I have to, bro. For real. Cause man, all that shit is, is is surrounded by us, you know. And it's so easy to get into it, cause that's that's, that's the break one. They give you. And that's what we good at. They give it to you for free. Give it to you for free, bro. That shit around you. Nigga, I could cook it. I could cook it up right now. You know what I'm saying? I could know how to cook it up right now. But I ain't never dealt with it. I ain't never, I never ran across my mind. You know what I'm saying? I never wanted to do no type of shit. Yeah, I, I, but I can cook it up right now. <laughs> the things, I, the things people, it amazes me that people don't realize that other people don't have life experiences too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They really realize, they think they're the only person living on earth with a problem. With a problem, bro. And then you, you can get to these. Like, are we not all in COVID right now? Are we not all fucking suffering? But who's real? Like who's dealing with like uh, some home type shit? You know what I'm saying? You got an abusive dad, a you got, got an alcoholic dad, a, a dad that's strung out on drugs. You'll find out now, man. I, I, but I know what it's like. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's definitely wild like that already. Yeah. I know what it's like to have a family member that's strung out on drugs. So now you dealing with all that at once. Man, and you young. So now you getting exposed to a young. Man. It's a generational thing. So now you like. Good draw. Now, fake up. You're gonna have to wait. Please. Tomorrow.